Hello, I'm Zach Hurst with EV Resource, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how the Arkimoto FUV does in the rain. Now, we are gonna to get to the footage that we shot earlier this week when we drove through rain, puddles, all of that, but before we get to that, I wanna show you something real quick, come here. The Arkimoto FUV is equipped with a windshield wiper. It has three settings, a slow, medium, and fast speeds to help push water off of the windshield. But of course, if you're going to push the water off the windshield, it has to have somewhere to go. In this case, instead of the water coming around the windshield and getting into the cabin, the FUV is equipped with rain guards that will help pull the water up and across all the way to the back so that passenger and driver will stay dry. Now, I know exactly what you're thinking right now, but what about the sides, right? There's no doors. Well, Arkimoto does offer a California or West Coast style half door that comes up to about here that would definitely help protect your legs as you're riding. And they also offer a specific rain guard that you can purchase that will help cover that area as well. But we don't have that. So let's see how this Arkimoto really does in the rain then. So it is 40 degrees here in Richmond today and raining it's not raining heavy. I think maybe I'll be able to get some video of that later on, but it is enough that I'll turn on the windshield wiper. Now the cool thing, the cool thing about the Arkimoto FUV is the windshield wiper has three settings, just like uh, in any other car really. You've got your intermediate setting, which is low. So for a light rain, like what we're having now, it's perfect. expect will be more of a rainstorm then we'll I'll be able to show that off too so one question that I had that hopefully will be answered today is how much water actually gets into the cabin area uh, when weather is not perfect you know if it's if it's raining or if there's water on the road or if you drive through a puddle or something like that um, of course from the top as I explained there are those guards the rain guards on the edge of the windshield and then across the roof so I don't expect any water to come in from that direction. Uh, so then the only other question is, how will it be coming in from where your feet rest? Remains to be seen. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll move the camera and, and get a better view of that. Actually, yeah, let me, let me do that right now. All right. Hopefully that'll stay on. We'll see how that camera angle captures the water coming off the wheel. <laughs> I really hope that stays on. We're gonna find out. Let's go on some bumps. If it's gonna fall off, it'll do it right now. Okay, hold up. Let's go back and take a look at that splash a little closer in slow motion. You can see that the water from the puddle hits the bodywork of the FUV and is directed rearward, missing my foot and leg. And we'll bring it back. It might have missed me, but if there were a passenger in the back, their foot would have gotten drenched. And a puddle. Gotta love that. So as you can see, the road surface is pretty wet. There's a decent amount of water coming off of that tire. But aside from the puddle, there isn't any water that's getting anywhere close to my foot or leg. So I won't really have an idea until after I review the footage from the GoPro I just put over there. Uh, but in terms of comfort, in terms of the way it feels when riding, it's very comfortable. I don't feel 
wet. I don't feel cold. Uh, and of course, those are going to be the major things when you're riding around in the rain. You don't want to be cold and wet. And now that, now that it's taken a couple minutes, I can absolutely feel the heated uh, handlebar grips, even with my gloves on. That feels really nice. It's amazing, the Arkimoto is a vehicle that even in 40 degree rain, I chose to, to come out and go grab a bite to eat somewhere. I haven't even decided, I'm just gonna ride around for a little bit because this is the type of vehicle you just wanna ride all the time. In fact, I haven't even touched my Spark EV at all since last Saturday when I picked this up. I mean, it's been, all Arkimoto, regardless of the weather, whether it's been cold, rainy, sunny. I mean, we've had some nice days. Of course, the day I was at the track was beautiful. But really, this is an all-weather vehicle if you don't mind bundling up a little bit. We're in a little bit more than one layer of clothes. Now, in addition to driving cars my whole life, I've ridden motorcycles. And uh, for a number of years, all I had was motorcycles, so I would ride in the rain and uh, the cold many times. And the wind is what really, really makes for a miserable experience on a motorcycle. Well, with the Arkimoto FUV, you've got this windshield and it's wide enough that your hands are protected from the wind as well, so you're not getting the full force so much better than riding a motorcycle, but you still can get the other senses, the experience of riding a motorcycle. You can hear everything, you can smell everything. You're not disconnected from the world around you. The experience of riding a motorcycle is what makes it so fun. And you get that with the Arkimoto, but you don't have all of the misery of riding in conditions like this. So this really is the best of both worlds. You get the comfort of a car, but the experience of a motorcycle. I've never been on a vehicle that is like that. You know, there's been other three-wheeled motorcycle-type vehicles that I've driven, but they didn't have a full windshield. That is brilliant. vehicles tend to handle fairly well in the snow. Uh, I wouldn't take the Arkimoto out in snow other than to test it, I think. My expectation is that without traction control, you would really rely on the throttle control from the rider, which depending on who it is, you know, it might be better, better or worse. Um, I don't know. With three wheels, depending on how deep snow would be. I, hey, if you have an Arkimoto and you've driven it in the snow, let me know how it is, because I, I, I'm really curious, actually. I'm gonna think about that a lot. Um, how does this handle in the snow? Because that that's the one thing I'm not gonna be able to answer, and I'd love to know. But it handles the rain, no problem. Now, right now, the rain is falling down directly. I mean, it's not coming in from the sides. It's not windy. I would imagine the experience would be very different if wind was coming in from the side, because when you're stopped, there's no airflow other than what's naturally occurring around you. So if it would come in from the side, you would definitely get hit. Um, Arkimoto does have optional California style half doors that go across the sides. That would definitely help keeping any 
water out of uh, the area down there. If I recall correctly, they are planning to have some full doors as well, some soft doors. Uh, I think that was the plan at one point. It might still be. I, uh, I've, I've been cramming all this information about the Arkimoto FUV this past week, and it's hard to keep track of what was a previous intention and what they're still intending to do. But even with the California half door on here, that would be good. I mean, I can't think of, to be honest, like really, truly honest, I cannot think of a better vehicle for just running around town, getting groceries, doing your thing, commuting to and from work. Um, this does everything that I could possibly ask it to do. Uh, certainly handles all my needs. I want one. I hate that I have to give this back. <laughs> <laughs> Arkhamoto, you might have to chase me down to uh, get me to give it back because, oh, I love it so much. I mean, it's fun, but it's so practical. Oh, and that sound. Oh. <laughs> And honestly, for Richmond, like Virginia, oops, uh oh. All right, I'm gonna hold on to that now. Um, for Virginia, we don't get a whole lot of snow and ice. Most of the time, the worst we get is what I'm riding through right now colder rain. So, man, it, this really would be the perfect vehicle for like just one person to run around in. Whew. There's a Model S that is. Uh, Pretty cool looking color. That's gotta be, that's gotta be a wrap. They named it Sparky. Oh, cool. Here, maybe I can put this back up. I don't know. I hope it doesn't fall down again. Ugh. I hope that Model S shows through with the color. That is cool. God, that looks so good. cameras on the side so AP1 maybe because it doesn't have the uh, repeater cameras up on the front fenders it's an 85 mm. I don't know enough about early Model S maybe a 2014 2013 something like that Signature red. So is that a 2012? Yes. Oh, because I'm like, that is such a beautiful color. I love it. Yeah. That's awesome. Signature red. Okay. See, there you go. I didn't know that the signature color was even a thing. Huh. How about that? That's cool. Very cool. You've got 
got less rubber on the road than uh, a normal vehicle. So, what is it like if you have to do an emergency maneuver? You know, like in the, the wet, like in the rain today, you've got to suddenly change direction or brake real hard. Um, without ABS brakes, I would expect the tires to lock up. Um, I don't know. Safer than a motorcycle because you've got more rubber on the road, you know, the third wheel and tire. Maybe I'll test that here uh, outside the house. It will lock the tires up. So you gotta be smart to do it again. Yeah, that's better. So you just gotta learn the vehicle like anything else. Um, that stopped really quick too. I'll do it again. Yeah. Cool. I mean, honestly, that handled a lot better than I thought it would. So I'd be happy with that. Home sweet home.